as we saw with the Daniel Deal fight, as we saw with the Macklin fight, as we saw with the Rubio fight, all the, the, the biggest names that supposedly were in front of him, he, he rose to the occasion. And I think we'll see the same thing uh, with the Martin Murray fight. I'm ready 100% to fight. It's a great show, it's a big dramatic show. Martin Murray is the young crown champion. He got a draw with Felix Sturm in Germany, which anybody knows in boxing that if you get a draw in Germany, you won the fight. He fought Sergio Martinez in Argentina in front of 40,000 Argentinians and lost a very disputed decision after knocking him down twice. So we feel that he's a formidable challenge. done things I've never done. You know, I've give, given myself every possible chance and every possible opportunity to win this fight. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight, but I, I am I am quietly confident that I can do the job on Saturday. Now it's, uh, can he use those skills that he that he's shown in the past against uh, a Golovkin? I doubt that, but uh, he's going to try. Someone who won't be intimidated whatsoever, won't be scared in any way getting into the ring. Yeah, there may be nerves there, but I'm quite sure Gennady's going to have exa exactly the same type of nerves. But it's channeling those nerves on the night that's important. And uh, Martin's got nerves of steel. But uh, Gennady Golovkin has had a great training camp. He's, he's a rising star and he understands, uh, as he puts it, I understand my situation. He understands that he needs to please and he needs to make sure and, and uh, be responsible in the ring so that uh, we continue to climb the ladder to stardom. Whenever a Golden Gloves fighter who is a total underdog walks into the ring, he is responsible for some of the greatest upsets in world boxing history. I've never been one to, to determine uh, our strategy upon somebody else's uh, abilities. It's always about my guy. It's always about what we can do, what we can, how we can impose our will. If you've watched enough of Gennady's fights, you've seen that he's very methodical as an approach. Uh, his approach is he's going to see what you have, he's going to feel you out, he's not going to go out crazy. And once he figures you out and has your timing and has your distance, then he's going to start picking you apart. Martin Murray will find out what it is to be punched by a true puncher in the middleweight division. If he does that and he goes into a shell like he's done in the past, Martin Murray that is, then he will get uh, destroyed. If he actually fights, maybe they'll make a fight of it. Maybe it'll go rounds, which I'm hoping for because that way it'll prove and it'll show everybody uh, some, some more of Gennady's words. Martin's clearly uh, the biggest challenge of his career. 
and Gennady's motivated for this. And I, my prediction is we'll see his 18 knockout streak. I think we'll see it uh, continue to 19. Gennady Golovkin is on a different level and there's going to be very few guys, uh, at least right now, because the supposed elite guys won't step up to the plate and face him. Uh, there's going to be very few guys that can go any distance with him. I would say Farach is one of them. Uh, uh, Chavez Jr. would be another one. Andrew Ward would be another one. Uh, I think Floyd Mayweather, if we were to get that fight at 154 pounds, would be another one. Uh, I don't see Cotto going more than five. I don't see Canelo going more than eight. Uh, but those other guys, uh, they're bigger, uh, experienced, uh, all-time great. Some of them, uh, Andre and, uh, and Floyd, are going to go down in history. Uh, Frotch has proven that he can, uh, he can hold his own against uh, the better fighters, so I, I think uh, those guys will be challenges for him. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here.